Hi, I'm going to show you how to make a button flower. My button size was one and a half inches. You can go up or down on your button. Just depends on uh, how big you want to make this. I used a 1.5 for the hook size. I went really small um, so I could fit the hook inside the eye of the button, the circle part. And I used thread size 10 yarn. Okay, let's get started. To get started, I'm going to slip knot onto the hook and then insert the hook inside of the circle of the button where thread would go. You can try it to see if it fits. If it does not, you're going to pull it, then you're going to need a, a smaller hook. Pull it through, yarn over, and pull through for a single crochet, and then a chain one. And then repeat as many single crochets you want in each circle. I'm only going to go with three. You can go up to four or five, just depends how much you want to cover. So just chain one again, and then insert and pull it through and create your single crochet. And I'm going to do it for all four of those circles in that button. And then chain one, and once I go to the next part, I'll just be inserting it right into the next circle. Then grab the yarn and pull it through and just repeat the same exact way three times or more. Okay, at the very end, I'm just going to slip stitch in the beginning stitch. And like I said, you can do up to three, four, five different stitches in each hole, um, just depending on how much you want to cover up the button. Slip knot onto the hook, and I'm using medium worsted white yarn. You can go up on a, a little bit on the hook size if you like. I'm going to slip stitch in any stitch to get started. I'm just working a chain one and single crochet around in each space that I can find. So just single crochet, pull through two loops and chain one. Going to slip stitch in the beginning stitch. And then I'm going to start working the petal for the flower. Chain one and then slip stitch in the beginning stitch to finish the round. Yours may be less or more, just depending on how many stitches you did. Then slip stitch into a stitch to get started on the petal. So I'm going to start with a chain two. And then yarn over twice and work a treble crochet. So pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. And then yarn over and pull through two loops. I'm going to work another treble crochet. I did up to six. You can do um, more or less depending on how big you want your petal. Just continue that for this petal.
I'm going to chain two and slip stitch in the same stitches as the treble crochet and one petal now is complete. Going to slip stitch into the next stitch and then slip stitch into the next stitch and create the petal the same exact way as the first petal. Going to chain two and then work six treble crochet just like the previous petal. Chain two and slip stitch in the same stitch as the other stitches, and then just repeat that around for your petals. Okay, once you're done with your last petal, slip stitch to complete, and then pull through and weave in all of your ends. Okay, the flower is complete. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching and please subscribe.